I had to bring you back to Badalona earlier, I had to. Lots has been happening. Plus, look at this. This is Diego Lozado, one of our key youth players, right? You remember him? But thanks to Paul at the FMU, he has generated these new faces and how much better does that look? So our youth team, they're going to be blinged up for the new season. Yes, welcome in folks, welcome back to Badalona. The boys have had a facelift, they look great. So I'm going to show you a few of them now before we get going. So Nesta Goglioni, remember he's our skipper. Look at that, look at that new face. He no longer looks ridiculous, he's got a face. I showed you Lozado, he's now a good looking six foot four man. And one of the new players that I'll show you shortly, Enric Grimmer, that is, believe it or not, a new gen face via this fairly talented boy. All his details are going to be down below. Have a little look, get yourself involved with it. Your new gents are never going to be the same again. So last time I was with you, we had all them players coming out of contract. So we're going to lose all them players. But you know what? It hasn't been that bad because when they left, it freed up some wage bill. And now we've got the new youth intake and I'm quite happy. So remember, the thing I am fortunate about at Badalona is the fact that we've got basically three routes of youth players to get to the first team. We've got the under-19s up there. We've got Badalona, which was the team that Badalona merged with, Costa Brava. So they're still a squad. And we've got the under-19s of Badalona. You follow me? So we've basically got three routes there. And then we've got the youth candidates as well each season. So when I was looking at the youth candidates last season, I was looking at the youth candidates for Badalona, the new Badalona. I didn't even think about the youth candidates for the other bad loner who have been slowly working their way up, such as goalkeeper Sergei Roveria. He's French, he's six foot three. He's not the best keeper in the world, but he's damn sure not the worst. And Goglioni's new understudy is Eric Salter, in from the B team. Again, very decent at this level. I showed you him earlier, Enric Grimmer. Now, he's got a face. Some of them haven't got a face. If they're going to play a bit, they're going to get a face. So that's the challenge, boys. If you're not happy with your face, play more. But he's a striker, going to be understudy to Bizet, and I'm quite liking him as well. So what this has led to is at one stage we had about four players in our squad but now we've got a big bulky squad and I'm happy with it. The average age is 21 and that was grinding at me a bit and with a little bit in the wage budget I've managed to get a couple of freebies in. I said I wouldn't do it didn't I but the wage budget was that big I thought come on we need some experience. You're gonna let me have that are you? You're gonna let me have that. Awarded an experienced defender and we've got it in this man, Juari. Now he's 33 years old, but I think he's going to help mentor a lot of the young players. If you look at his attributes, he's a step above, isn't he? He's had a good pre-season, excited about him. Another man we brought in is Modu Sao. He's only 19. He's going to be a great striker. I can't believe we pulled this one off. Free transfer. He's got himself a new FMU face. Look at that. You can't even tell the difference. If you look at his history as well, last season, 20 and 25 for the B team of Zamora. They released him. We've snapped him up. He... He's going to be up front with Bizet. So going into a fresh season, I wanted a fresh set of tactics. I didn't want a situation where we lost that 12 game run like last time. My God. So back to basics. If you saw the wing play video, you'll know what vibe I'm going for. We've got this 4-4-2 rocking, really simple, solid rolls. I'm really enjoying it. Full backs with wing wingers as well. So we're going wide. I want to provide the bullets to Bizet and Sal because those two, I'd be surprised if there's better strikers in this league than them two. Got alternate versions as well. That's a very traditional 442 style. The next one, the Badder Express, very similar. Some of the roles get a bit more expressive, shall we say? Deep line playmaker with a box to box midfielder, inverted winger, and here with Jock Hira, who I'll introduce you to shortly, another new player. And the final version is the Badder 3 1. It's like a 4 2 3 1 with a deep 2 3 1 there. Sal has got the ability to drop into a number 10 position as well. I love that boy already. He's going to be cracking. He's going to be cracking. So he can drop into there if we need to change up a bit. But we're going to start with this. The preseason's gone really well. This game was great. We won 8 0 with a bit of a rotated team. And Sal got himself a hat trick in this one. He was all over the place, causing havoc. The front two in this one was Grimmer and Sal. Here's Alba down the right, a little cross to Sal. There he is again. In the next friend we played, we scored another big game. Six in this one. Busy helped himself to four. So, so far, so good. I'm really excited about the way preseason's gone. Granted, some of these teams are lower down, but we're being ruthless. In the game that we lost, we were competitive against a team that's higher up than us. We've got one more friendly to go, and then the season kicks off. What could possibly go wrong? Let's have a look at the season preview, and you can see who's now in our league. Ready for a fresh season? There's the league table. Have a little closer look, though, because there's going to be some standouts. Your eyes do not deceive you. In alphabetical order, just below us, is Barcelona B. 
Can you believe it? We're going to come up against Barcelona this season. A little bit lower down, we've got FC Andorra, strong, and then Girona. What are they doing in this league? I couldn't believe my eyes. I could not believe my eyes. Girona are now in our league. What is going on? So if you look at their little history down here, if I look at it closer, they were in the top league, La Liga, up until 2022-23, and they dropped two seasons on the spin. So they're now in our league. So they've got to be favourites to go up, right? Manu Vallejo is their key player, and he's valued at 5.6 to 7 million pounds. In fact, if we look at Barcelona B and their key player, Danny Rodriguez, he's valued between 11 and 17.5, and these are in our league. For a comparison, our key player is Manu Pedrino here, and he's valued at 50 to 85k. I mean, great new face, but that shows the levels. All this leads to this season preview, and Barcelona and Girona are favourites to go automatically up. We're sitting in at 12th, which is kind of where we finished last season, so it's going to be tough. Another tough season incoming. But forget about them. We brushed ourselves down. We're ready to go. But there's one player missing from that screen. Alex Garrido, the kid we got from Barca B team. He was going to be our future. The board took it out of my hands and accepted a bid from Brest. And he's gone. Devastated. We've got an upfront free of 30,000, which is what they couldn't turn down, apparently. It does rise to 110, but he was going to be the linchpin of our team. But remember what I said about getting some wage budget. It was from that move because he was on big wages. And that did help us get Juari here. And also the other key signing, which was Shakira. Joe Shakira, who we're definitely going to rename Shakira. He comes in on the left-hand side. He's on pretty high wages compared to what we can afford. But you can see his attributes. He could be a standout. He could be a difference maker. So there goes Garrido. He's off to France. We've got a 30% sell-on clause. So let's hope he gets a big move. So now the problem we've got is this role here was earmarked for him. I don't think Lozado is quite that type of player. I want like a surging playmaker. He's not that type of player. So what do we do? Next to him, we've got Dominguez, who's new. Mario Dominguez, holding player. He could possibly do that role, but his vision's not very good or his flair. Might have to find someone. With Garrido gone, what we're going to have to do is going to have a combo of Lozado. And then what we've got, we've got a good player we sent out on loan last season in Joffrey Geschi. There he is. He's 18. So he's still got work to do, but you can see his attributes are not bad either. The passing's good, the vision's good. We could do with his tackling getting up there, but for a more creative player, if he can rotate, he'll be all right. In fact, look at his face. Should we sort that out right now? And there you go. How good's that? Much better. And look at that quiff. He's now successful enough to have a new gen face. He's part of the squad. So that's the clutch of games we've got to start off with. Don't play Girona until 12th there. Looks like the 12th of October. And we don't play Barca until November. So those two close together is going to be tough. So we've got a chance to get it rolling until then. Yes, yeah, so speaking of Barca, here they are. They've still got Schroeder in charge. Lewandowski's still there. They've played one game this season. They've won the fifth in the league. So what transfers did they make this summer? They brought in Patrick Wimmer from Wolfsburg for 38 million. It's not a bad signing, is it? Not a bad signing. They haven't cashed in on anyone else. Did they get anyone in late in this season? They did. Okay, okay. They've bought Wu Yong John from Bayer Leverkusen for 70 million. 70 million for him. They've also bought in Kakaret from Lyon for 45 million for a 25 year old to go along with all the other players. That's 244. But they also recouped 238. They sold Pedri to PSG. What are they thinking? Getting rid of Pedri. And they sold Dembele, Bellerine, Rafinha, Torres, which we went through. So the balance in the book's a bit better, but still. Whoever's in charge of their transfers. So crew, longer episode today. I think people wanted a bit of a longer one, and there you go. So we've got our plans for the new season. We've got our team set. We've got the Badashango 442. Slight tweak in the next one. And we've got the 4231 deep double DM if we need to use that. Transfers made this summer. You can see again, zero in. These are all young players we brought in, other than Shuari, who is the 33-year-old experience at the back. And there's what we've brought in, 46,000. Hasn't held the finances, by the way. Still 1.1 million in debt, but still. So what will this season bring? I'm more bonus in the dads. I'm one of the kids who are more football. Nano is more jobs, cafe the nights because you went Jones.